Hey, what's up guys? Coach Mac, play fast football. If you look in the description box below, I'm going to leave uh, some information and uh, some Twitter information and some links to the two companies that, uh, that help sponsor play fast football. Uh, GameStrat, which is our sideline replay system that we use. It's the most advanced, fastest sideline replay system on the market. We really had a, uh, a great deal of success with it this year. And then also at Just Play Sports Solutions or Just Play Football, um, they are digital solutions and playbook software solutions for your players to where you can give your players some game plan info and do some really neat things with their software to, uh, to help your players, not only with your own playbook, but uh, with a game plan and with some things that you can really, uh, really a lot of neat things you can do. I've said it before, I'm not really uh, that advanced on using it um, yet. Um, this season, this off season, that's gonna be a big push of mine. The guys that just play have been great and I'm gonna make a full push to use it full time next year. All right, today we're going to talk about uh, some man zone combination or man zone covered blitzes where we are combining uh, zone, co zone concepts on one side with man concepts on, on another and we're sending five man pressure. And I'm going to tell you why we're doing this. Um, I've talked about it a little bit before, but I'm going to show you what we, um, what we did this past week and I'm going to tell you why. Um, in, in some three by one sets, we play what we call mixed coverage, some people call it mini coverage, it's got several different names out there, but basically it's man on one, it's two read on two and three with our safeties, all right, and then our apex linebacker becomes kind of like the two read player underneath that can't let anything out leverage him, all right, and then what it does is on the back side, all right, is it allows you on the back side, it gives you the opportunity to support single side runs and bracket the single receiver. All right, so it's one of the reasons when you don't have to take a backside safety and pull them to the front side of the three by one coverage to play a three vertical, that allows you the opportunity to get two for one coverage on a single receiver and allows you the opportunity to be a little bit flexible and, and different in how you want to handle, all right, run game to the single side with some different support options here, you know, based on where the ball is, based on what the other team likes to do, based on um, who your guys or who you, your best run support players are. Well, what happened to us throughout the year is in, in three by one, especially in passing situations, we just haven't done a really good job on the backside of bracketing that single receiver, and we've been, we've been giving up um, some plays to that single receiver. So um, I got a little bit frustrated with how we were playing the backside single. So what I decided to do this past week was I decided to incorporate a five-man pressure into a combination coverage where we went man to the single side, but we still played our mixed concepts to the trip side so that we weren't in straight man free, we weren't in straight man coverage. So we had some zone principle sides, and then we had some man coverage sides. So what we decided to do, all right, was when we got three by one, we made a check where we sent, all right, our defensive line in the 3-3 three, three stack, we sent them towards the trips. And then we also sent the Mike linebacker in the B-gap towards the trips because we were getting some stretch and some outside zone to the three by one. So I felt like that would give us a little bit of help to the outside zone side. And then what we did is we brought our, our weak safety down and we sent him off the edge. And then we played, all right, man coverage with the stack linebacker and man coverage with the corner on the backside. All right, so because we were losing in our bracket or in our attempts to get two, two for one on the backside, we were giving up a bunch of throws to the single. So I decided to add pressure and play man because if I'm going to bracket the single and still give up throws to the single when I have it two for one, all right, in my opinion, that's a waste of time. The whole reason I play mixed coverage or mini coverage to this side is so that to this side I get great run support and I bracket the, the single receiver. So in my mind, you should very rarely give up big time throws to this number one receiver when you have him bracketed or two for one. All right, so we were giving up some throws to the single in our coverages, so what I decided to do this past weekend was add five man pressure while playing zone coverage to the front side and man coverage to the back side. All right, so we did it with a safety. All right, there's three different ways to do it. All right, you can call it you know, solid with your safety coming, okay, which is the way we did it, and then it leaves your backside corner and your stack linebacker and man, all right. You could go solid backer, all right, to where you let your stack backer go, and now your left safety comes down to play man-to-man -man on the back on the backside, 
okay? Or solid safety, solid backer, or you could go solid cowboy, all right? And now what would happen is you would let your corner go, your left safety would play man on one, and then your stack linebacker would play man on a remaining back. So you've got three players, all right, on the back side to play man to man on two, and you can send the fifth one off the edge. Okay, so this past week we went solid safety, all right, away from three by one. We played our mixed principles to the front side. The main thing we had to tell the guys from the front side is now that we're man on the back side, nothing from the zone side can get across to the man side. All right, so nothing from the zone side could get across to the man side. Now, where you can get a little bit involved with your players is where the back is set. When the back is set weak, the Ram linebacker is not going to get out leveraged here so he can sit inside and cut three or cut the new three or the final three and make sure that that guy does not cross the formation. If the back gets over to the strong side and you're going to push to four strong, now what you're going to have to do is when you get the motion or the push, when he now pushes to four strong, the backside man player, because there is no number two, now has to cut the new or the final number four because they have pushed four strong. All right, so if they do push four strong and there's nobody for the man player to play, all right, then that man player on two, when they push four strong, your underneath palm dropper that pushes with the back now has to come over and cut the final number four, all right, while you, while you play man on one and then you're playing all your two read concepts off of two and three, so your ram has to push the leverage of the back, and now you've got to get, all right, this backside man player who doesn't have a number two to his side, you've got to get him to push to cut the new four or whatever it may be, all right, whatever it may be coming back, he's got to cut the new number four because when you have a man side and a zone side, you can never let players from the zone side get across to the man side, all right, because you're going to get yourself in trouble, okay, so... What we decided to do is we decided on the back side where the single was, we were going to send pressure. We sent our mic in the stack to make it five-man pressure, all right? And then we ended up with a zone combination and a man combination, all right? Another way you can do it, all right, to like 20 personnel teams, and this takes a little bit more work, but, you know, it's the same theory. Like for us, if you wanted to get kind of exotic with the pressure from the 3-3 three, three stack, okay, for us, what we could do is we could bring the mic up, all right? We could bring the mic up and pick through the center. We could loop the nose, all right? Keep the end on that side playing technique football, all right? We could rub or Charlie the end on the back side and send the ram off the back side to get five-man pressure. And then to the single, we could play man with the corner, and then we could take, all right, our our right safety here and our these two backers can bracket the remaining backs all right and then what we can do outside on this side is we can go ahead and play some version of our quarters coverage all right so we're going to go ahead and play quarters coverage to the front side man to the back side bracket the two backs man to man and send a five man pressure all right, so we're going to send five and to get exotic from the 3-3 three, three stack. A lot, of, a lot of even front teams, it's, e it's easier for them to, to run the inside Tom game with the nose and the tackle and get some different movements versus which way the center is going to slide or which way they're going to protect. For us in the 3-3, three, three, we would have to bring the mic up to pick, bring the nose behind it, and now run rubber, Charlie, ram off the edge, and playing technique football there. All right, and now what we got is a five-man pressure deal okay and then we've got our quarters rules here and then we've got man to man on the back side now when we do this one we've got to get a little bit extra aggressive with the free safety because he's going to have to cut any inside releases of two he's going to have to make sure he gets down there to cut those because this guy cannot get to that side of the coverage when we're playing man to man all right now some college teams, and, and Nick Saban does it, and some other guys do it, they'll get involved where they might have the free safety part of the bracket with the line and the right safety, and they might bracket the slot and the two backs. 
or their man free player may adjust based on the formation. All right, that's way too much work for us. If we're going to try and run a combination pressure like this, what we're going to do is we're going to play quarters to the two receiver side. We're going to bracket the two backs with our left sack and right safety. We're going to play straight man with the corner, and now we're going to try to play quarters concepts out here. So this becomes your force flat player. All right, we're going to play all of number one. All right, all of number one. All right, with the exception of possible shallow cross. All right, but now what we've got to be able to do is these three players on this side have to bracket within the quarter's coverage these two receivers so that if two is out and one's trying to go in, this free safety has to understand how to get and not let that number one get across the formation. All right, two outs going to be handled by the down safety and quarter's coverage, so he'll handle two out, all right, and then the corner can kind of zone off the inside releases of one but you got to work really hard to bracket cut with your free safety because normally in quarters coverage, if you're one went shallow, and let's say, you know, the toughest one of the two for us would be one shallow with two working vertical. All right, so what we would have to do in this combination type coverage is we would have to cut one with the free safety and our corner would have to sink, okay, and play the corner route by two coming back out. Okay, now where this gets us in an issue is when one goes shallow and two possibly goes to the post, we can't handle it. So for us, a lot of times in our quarters coverage, what we do is we play all of one with the corner, all right, and then we play bracket outside inside, all right, with the free safety and the strong safety. So any releases in and up are going to be the free safety, any releases out are going to be the strong safety. If two releases out, the strong safety, all right, can go ahead and play two out, and now the free safety can look to help the corner, all right? The free safety can look to help the corner. If two goes out, all right, a lot of times one's going to work back in, so now you can get a double on one with two out. This is a safety for us, not a Sam linebacker. So now if we get the wheel route, our strong safety has to run with the wheel, all right? So for us... A lot of times if we're going to use that combination of coverage the way we play it, all right, we would play all of one with the corner, even on shallow, and then we would just really be in, out, or bracket on the number two receiver. All right, so this is not something we do a ton of, all right, out of, out of two-by-one sets or out of two-by-two um, two sets, although we have the ability to do it depending on what the other team does. We really like it the most out of three-by-one sets, all right, just because of the passing game we see and and because of the run game that we see, all right? This can get a little bit funky. You could even, if you wanted to, all right? I imagine you, you could try, we don't try to do it, but you could try to play palms, coverage to this side, all right? So now that if you get two out, you know your corner's gonna take it. If one's going shallow, all right, now your left safety's gotta be able to cut because your left safety now understands that any three coming out is played man to man, so you don't have to widen or get leverage with three, all right, because in, normally in palms, three out would be the palms dropper. Well, if we're bracketing the two backs man, and three out is going to be that backer, now we can sit this guy underneath in a palms coverage so that if we're getting shallow with vertical, now we can cut the shallow here, we can double the corner route or at least have a player on the post route to the front side, all right? So it's a, for us, the way we do it, all right, um, it's either got to be all of one, man to man with the corner, and then we're really just a zone bracket concept on a number two receiver. All right, if we really wanted to make it a true combination, zone side, man side coverage, we would have to play palms over here, man to man back there. All right, so that now we understand if we get any shallows, we've got to be able to cut those shallows. All right, and then to me, the, the issue, if anybody could do it, would be any type of follow. So... If two or what you know any type of it, two inside with one working back inside, now we'd have to work really hard at, at how we would defend those things. All right, but this is not something in two by one we do a bunch of. I mean, you could do it, um, but in three by one we like to do it a bunch, and we like to change it up on the backside so that you are getting combination coverages and. You'll see it in college a bunch. It's a little bit more involved, but what you do is you get five-man pressure, 
you're not stuck playing three under three deep, four under two deep, or you're not stuck playing straight man free, you're able to give your kids a side where you can still play your palms rules, all right, and on the backside you can aggressively play man to man on the backside, you can aggressively bracket the backs with a backer and a safety, and you're getting five man pressure while your kids can still play palms on the front side. So I know a lot of guys don't like going straight man free, all right, a lot of guys if they're not happy with three under three deep or four under two deep or if there's something that another team does to present itself, um, you can kind of combine some things and have some combination coverages um, that can be five-man pressures while you're also playing combination zone coverages and man coverages. All right, so again, for us, all right, three by one is the best one. Solid safety, solid backer, solid cowboy. We can change who the fifth rusher is. He's going to come from the single side. We're going to play, all right, our, our combination coverages, all right, to the, to the three receiver side, all right, and then we're going to play man to man on the single side with wherever the two is, the two remaining players of the, of the three, all right, the two remaining that aren't pressuring, we're going to go ahead and play man to man with those two, all right, so it's a way that you can combine man and zone covered blitzes, all right, it's a little bit more involved um, than just to describe it in a 15 minute board session, but I wanted to give you a two by one look and how you could possibly do it the two by one. And then I wanted to give you the way we did it out of three by one because it's a great change up in three by one. If you're not getting what you want out of certain players on the back side, then you might as well add to the, to the pressure and add to the run game so that, that that backside player is actually doing something aggressively to help you, all right, where you want to help. Because for us, in the ideal world, all right, when we're defending three by one in mix or mini coverage, all right, in the ideal world, because you have all these players on the front side handled and you have three vertical handled, you get two for one, or if you want to include the line, you get three for two on the back side. So now in the ideal world, no matter how you want to do it, you've got four different ways, you know, like for us on the back side, you know, we can play the back side of this in sky with the safety down in a cornerback. We can play the back side of this in hard, right, where we play a traditional cover two with the corner up and the safety back, all right? We can also play this in what we call hawk, which gives us more of a quarters look, where we're man on one, all right, man on two with the stack, and now the left safety is an extra player that's a vision and break guy that can help in the passing game, all right? The problem we've had is when we've chosen to go hawk, we have not got a ton of help from the vision and break play. Okay, so the vision and break player has not been giving us a ton of help. We've been getting straight drop back passes with one running routes. All right, so we're sitting in Hawk. Straight drop back, one running post, and our left safety is staying down and not helping us double the post. And it ends up essentially being man on the post route to number one. Well, if you're going to play a Hulk concept and this kid is not going to vision and break help you here or vision and break help you there, he's wasted in the coverage. <laughs> okay, so if he's going to be wasted in the coverage, you've got to find something else to do with him. For us, that something else was bringing him off the edge and then just playing man because essentially we were playing man by ourselves anyways because he wasn't giving us any help. All right, so sometimes, especially when you haven't shown things like that in the past, all right, sometimes those can be great checks, they can be great add-ons, they can be great um, simple little solutions to help handle three-by-one scenarios or whatever the set weight may be. So hopefully that, guys, will help you if you're having problems to the single or if you're getting some issues where you're not getting enough help in a single, if you are trying to bracket the single, if you're not getting the help you want, add to the pressure and go ahead and make it man-to-man -man and send five. And at least now, if you're going to play man-to-man, -man, you've got a fifth guy going and then you've got a zone side where you feel comfortable matching up four on three or five on four if they push four strong and your man player goes over there you've got four on three or five on four to, the, to that side man to man to the back side but you're adding pressure and you're adding a fifth so you're hoping to help the man guy with pressure so if you can't help the man guy with the bracket all right then you need to try and help him with pressure and this makes it to where it's not an all-out man pressure if you're not comfortable playing man free all right so i hope that adjustment helps you guys as always remember you don't play well so you play fast. I'll check you guys out next time.